Yo, nah, I knew that shit wasn't gonna last forever. And I knew it wasn't that much time either. As soon as I went out there, the energy was off. What I've learned over the years is that, yeah, success equals numbers and numbers is success. It's a piece of it, but it's a piece of it though. It's not full success. Uh, you can have a hundred million followers, you can have a million subscribers, you can have 300,000 views, and that's going to get the people's attention. That's what bring, that's what warm, the, that's what heat the room up. Your views, that's what gets your feet wet. But once your feet is wet and once you're in the game, it's the second part of it, it's your 2.0. The 2.0 is maintaining. When you're coming in the game, it's all about numbers. It's all about this. And it's about that throughout your career if you can hold it up. But being viral, viral is not something that stays around for a long time. Viral lasts for like a good between zero to three years or five years. Drake is viral, but he's not as viral as he was three to four years ago. He's still viral because his brand is something that you just can't deny. Michael Jackson was cold before he died. So um, yeah, a lot of different things happen, man. We go to Hollywood. Um, from from my point of view, it looked like you jumped into a big opportunity. Yeah. First of its kind type of opportunity. Then building the network. Yeah. Are you thinking when you when you were in it at that moment? Were you thinking about what's the aftermath of this? <laughs> like caught up in just. Yo, nah, I knew that shit wasn't gonna last forever, and I knew it wasn't that much time either. As soon as I went out there, the energy was off. As soon as I went out there. Now, the vibe of the city of LA is cool. The vibe, the people, you know what I'm saying, go down the road, smell weed, people skating, you know what I'm saying? Like, people happy-go-lucky. I don't feel like I have to look over my back for the police to watch me. I don't feel like I'm targeted as much. But the, the vibe, as far as, um, I'm very in tune with myself. The vibe, as far as people's intention, I felt that. I didn't feel any type of genuineness around me. So I knew that wasn't gonna last long. So I knew this was just short term or it was limited. I knew it wasn't gonna be like a 10 year story or 15 years, you know, outcome like, Russell, we made it, man. 15 years in the game, didn't I tell you? I couldn't tell you how, how couldn't tell you how it was gonna end, but I knew that it wasn't gonna be what I, whatever it was gonna be. I didn't know what was gonna come about it. I'm not surprised because I was conditioned to it and I, I kind of prepared for it just through studying artists like rappers. Rappers, musicians, people like Tony Braxton, all these other people that got screwed out of deals. You hear about it every day. I would have went home. <laughs> I would have never done Dr. Reasons. Now I do think the Dr. Reasons and all that help. One, I didn't write Dr. Reasons. That's the only thing I've never written in my life. I've written everything I've ever touched. The only thing that I haven't touched was Dr. Reasons. Never edited it, never written it. Never wrote it. I just showed up and that was it. Niggas had a script for me and I just read it and went on about my business. And we were shooting five episodes in a day. And we probably shot over like three, four seasons. Yeah, so. So what, so do, knowing that you know now, you said you would've went home. I would've went home. Why? Because I had enough money at the time to really, 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 really like make a mark and not be bothered. When I was in LA, I had to check in. You know what I'm saying? People, agents calling me. Had to go to fucking eight meetings in a day, five meetings. I got three, four scripts coming at me. Every script take two to three days to study. You know what I'm saying? I had to do my own thing. Then I had to create a whole new brand, uh, ADD, you know what I'm saying? Which I'm the brand ambassador for and create that channel, give that channel some juice. Now that channel got juice. I ain't have nothing left for myself when it was time for me to turn around. So they paid me enough to keep me around, but not enough to run off and do my own thing.